Yeah. Awesome. It's career fair day at Palomar Health's Escondido Hospital. The health system is looking to hire up to 250 nurses, and many applicants were getting on-the-spot offers Wednesday. Congratulations, you obviously made a great impression. Health systems across San Diego have been upping their game to attract nurses. Palomar Health recently introduced a three-year, $100,000 sign-on bonus. It's for new and existing full-time nurses, and it's something many at the career fair were aware of. You know about this sign-on bonus here? Okay. <laughs> we know that you have multiple positions open. Yes. Pamela Travis is an intensive care unit nurse in Temecula. She says the bonus is one of the reasons she's interested in working for Palomar. I definitely think it was the initial like um, attention grabber. And then I think though you always have to show up to a facility, you have to see how the floors are run, you have to talk to your managers. Hospital leadership introduced the $100,000 sign-on bonus for full-time nurses in April. It requires a three-year commitment and payouts would increase over time. The bonus is for new full-time hires as well as existing nurses. Many of them thought it was too good to be true, yes. but we wanted them to know that there's no catch, there's no gotcha. Um, we are very serious about this program and really want them to know how much we want them to stay. Palomar Health CEO Diane Hansen says there's a bonus for part-time nurses too, but those are lower and they depend on hours worked. She says it was introduced to move away from contract nurses, which have been expensive. We're spending anywhere from 50 to 60 million this year in contract labor. And so we wanted to take those dollars. If we can save, you know, some of that money and put it towards this bonus program, that's what we're trying to do. Palomar Health has around 1,800 nurses, not all of them full time. To get a sense of how much this could cost the hospital, if 1,000 nurses got the full bonus, that would be $100 million over three years. Chief Nursing Officer Melvin Russell says most existing employees have signed up for the bonus. He says it's also helped attract a lot of new applicants. Post-COVID, we really were, uh, as all healthcare agencies, were really struggling on applicants. The American Hospital Association reports an older workforce, a surge in retirements, and pandemic burnout is driving a nationwide health worker shortage. As simple as that, yeah. Palomar health officials say the hardest to recruit are in labor and delivery and operating room nurses. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.